We know children that several of the human activities disturb many ecosystems. These activities include cutting of forest, hunting of animals, pollution of land, water and air. This resulted in the extinction of several species of both plants and animals. Of these human activities, pollution is a major problem that has disturbed and destroyed many ecosystems and poses health problem for man. In this lesson, we will study about pollution and how it affects the three major ecosystems, land, water, and air. Pollution may be defined as an undesirable and harmful change in the abiotic components of an ecosystem by the addition of an agent. The agent which causes pollution is called a pollutant and it may be or may not be a natural component of the ecosystem. There are a large number of pollutants which may be produced due to natural causes or due to human activities and they may pollute air, water and land. Let us see the natural causes of pollution. Some of the activities in the nature can pollute the air, water and land. Man has no control over these natural activities. And this kind of pollution was present even before the existence of human race or technological advancements made by man. Eruption of volcanoes, earthquakes, natural forest fires, natural decay of a dead bodies of both plants and animals, add ash, dust, carbon dioxide and sulfur containing gases such as hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide to the atmosphere, especially to air. Similarly, dust storms also add large quantities of dust to atmosphere. During floods, soil is eroded and the soils are washed off from the soil into water. Several plants are uprooted and several animals are killed by flood water. Dead plants and animals are washed away by flood water and they decompose and pollute the water. Large amounts of silt present in flood water chokes the respiratory system of aquatic animals and kills them. Dead bodies of these animals pollute the water further. Erosion of rocks by wave action also causes pollution of water. Floods also pollute the soil and erode the top layers of soil. This makes the land unfit for plant growth. In low-lying areas with poor outflow, the flood water dries up leaving behind the salt residues. This increases salt content of soil. This process is called salination of soil and degrades the land quality. Man has no control over these natural causes of pollution. Now let us see the pollution due to human activity. Besides the natural causes of pollution, several of the human activities also cause pollution of the air, water and land and make them unfit for the existence of life. This problem has become more severe in the past 100 years due to rapid increase in population and industrialization.